Yo guys, before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you quickly about foottrading.co.uk to the over 100 of you now that have subscribed over there. Thank you very much for support. It means the world. Um, essentially, this is a website that we pulled together, myself and Dan, aka V273. We brought our market knowledge into one place where you guys can get access to trading guides and all that good stuff. There are free trading guides. I know I've said this before, but for those of you who are new around here, free trading guides there where you can learn to trade with special cards, silvers and icons. Essentially, the three best ways to trade this year, in my opinion. If you subscribe for £10 a month, you get access to spreadsheets, which give you buying prices and selling prices, full of special cards, four icons and silver cards. We've got guys on my Discord who have made two and a half million pounds, million coins, two and a half million pounds, I wish, two and a half million coins this week. Uh, if you pay £15 a month, you get access to live deals, which starts on Friday. We'll be posting some of the best deals that we find on the market. New stuff being added to that as well, including sort of tips and tricks and little bits of extra stuff that you guys will get to make even more coins. Again, £10 a month for Tier 1, uh, £50 a month for Tier 2. But for now, let's get into this video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. If you're new around here, as always, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button. All that good stuff before we even go any further. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for over 5,000 subscribers on the channel now. We've gained, I think, at like 600, 700 subscribers in the last three or four days. Things are starting to snowball, so I'm very thankful for all the support. If you want to watch me do this live, click the link down below. Come over to Twitch. I cannot stress that enough. It is the best place for you to learn to trade because you, you can ask me questions directly. A lot of you have been asking about the Discord server. You need to go into the Twitch chat and put exclamation mark Discord in that chat. It is completely free to join, um, so go ahead and do that. And obviously, go and check out foottrading.co.uk. Again, a thank you from me and from Dan. For those of you who have already subscribed, um, I think we're already in three figures for subscribers over there. And we've got guys making a lot of coins, as the intro will tell you. This video is episode two of the League SBC to Glory video, uh, like series that I'm bringing out. What I want to do in this video is, the first video essentially is me showing you my club stacked up and clearing out what I had. Um, I will show you, at the, probably some point in this video, where we are at in terms of the League SBCs now. Because yesterday on stream, I did... A load of Chinese League and I did a couple of the Saudi League as well. Um, but what I want to do in this video really is break down the bronze packs and how I think when I do them. Now, you have a few options when it comes to League SBC method. The first one of those is to choose select leagues that you focus on because then you're able to sell the leagues that you're not focusing on when you're getting in bronze packs. So, for example, if you are not focusing on the Bundesliga and you hit Paderborn players, they're 10k a pop, for example. Myself, I'm going to be doing all of them. Um, I don't see a reason not to. At the moment, my coin total is 2.6 million, but it will be about 3.7, 3.8 once we sell all this stuff. So what I've been doing basically every day, we've got a lot more stuff on the transfer pile here. What I've been doing every day basically is doing the bonds packs during the day. Then in the evening and on stream, I trade, make sort of half a million, maybe a million coins a day, and then put those back into bonds packs again. Not all that profit, but some of that profit goes back into bonds packs again. And that way, I'm not using my actual coins that I've got. I'm using sort of trade profit just to build my club up. And after that, it sort of builds itself up over time. One thing you do need to be mindful of, and it, you'll see an example of it in this video, because I've really recorded parts of segments of this video for it, is that with the bonds packs, there is you, you have a choice with the combo ball card specifically. Some people are doing the combo ball with League SPC. I probably am going to do so. Um, but if you don't want to do that, the combo ball cards that are popping every other pack at the moment are selling for 1,000 coins plus most of them. Some of them are selling for two, three, four thousand 4,000 coins. So if you wanted to make sure you're keeping your coin total up, you could sell those combo ball cards, not do those two league SBCs because it's not too much of a stress if you don't, and then do the major league SBCs, the actual SBCs that came, not the combo ball ones. But what I'm going to be doing is opening up packs bit by bit. Um, I'm going to show you guys my thought process around bonds packs. Once we've done that, we'll then be showing you guys how to convert them, the quickest ways to convert them into bronzes and silvers into golds to go from there, basically. Um, but I will be right back as I start opening bonds packs. I will see you then. Yo guys, so you have a choice in, with cards like this. So for example, this back here at the moment selling for about 1,500 coins on the market, uh, give or take. It's not showing me the other page, but they're all at 1,500, so I'm just price fixing on them. Um, so I could hold him if I wanted to. If I went to put my transfer pile and just leave him there um, until I did Dortmund again. But because I'm only halfway through Bundesliga, for me, it's, it's, it's a sell. I'd sell him for, let's say, like 1,300, get him sold. Because that's another four bronze packs that I get to open up. And that's part of the thing a lot of you have asked me, if you've got duplicates of League SPC cards, what do you do with them? The choice is really yours. If you're near the end of that SPC, let's say Bundesliga only had two more teams left to do, I might hold on to him and think, sorry, I'll use him next time uh, for the come round. But when I'm only halfway through, I'd rather sell him, get three more bonds packs and, and then just be able to keep recycling, get more players, as, as many as I can possibly. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit of a tip for you guys there. We're going to keep opening up these bonds packs and let you know once we're at the end of that. If anything more comes up that I think you guys need to know or I want to show you guys, I will be back with that in two seconds time. 
And yo guys, for those of you that are saying you're struggling with your coin total, you do have the choice as well. You haven't got to do all the league SPCs. I'm doing every, absolutely every single one, including the, the copper one. But as an example, his centre back is a 63 rated centre back. Because uh, he's part of the copper thing, he's selling for 1700 coins. If you sold him this one now for 1500 coins, again, that becomes four bonds packs you can open up. I'm, I'm getting pretty much one of these a pack at the moment. And a lot of them are going for like 1,000, 2,000 coins. It's an easy way to recuperate your coins if you're worried about running, running low on coins. Sell your copper players, stick to normal league SPCs, don't worry about these guys so much. But that is an option for you, and this is why I'm saying to you, check absolutely every single player that you open up in these packs, because especially the copper players, but there are more players you don't realize have a value. They might be a league SPC, not league SPC, a normal SPC solution. So just make sure you check the prices, make sure you're selling for the right prices, and you should be seeing a lot of your coins are sort of stagnating rather than dropping too too low uh for those of you that are worried about yo guys so another example again about checking players and knowing what the market's like at the moment i've already shown you one irish player we've now got another one uh, his name's guy the guy's name is buckley um it's only shown me to there but i know i can list him for about four thousand eight hundred give or take and he should sell again that means that in the next 12 bronze packs that i open up are completely free because of him and this is what i'm saying about checking prices knowing the market knowing what players are doing uh it's really really simplistic but that's the, they're the ones you need to look out for irish players and northern irish players that are rare um, Shamrock Rovers players and obviously the Commonwealth cards if you're not going to be using those. I know I've said it a few times now, but I really want to get into your head to make sure you're looking out for those cards. But I'll see you again in a bit. Yo guys, so another one from me here with the bonds packs. This is probably going to be the last example of bonds packs I'm going to show you, but this guy here, always check your airs because this guy here is selling for 1,200 at the moment. He's probably as part of an SBC solution on Footbin. Um, he, Argentinian rares tend to do well no matter what happens. So make sure that you're checking the price of those sort of players because Again, he would normally just end up in a league SPC uh, upgrade pack, so the bonds upgrade pack, if I, if I hadn't checked. But for him now, I'm going to list him for 1,000. He should sell realistically. There's no reason why he wouldn't because he's holding a value. Uh, so just make sure that you're checking the price of those sort of players because it's really not difficult to make a lot of your coins back as long as you're checking the prices. Essentially, when you're doing the bonds packs, your, your hope is always that you hit the players at the moment that are valuable. Like I've shown you already, the, the, the Irish players, uh, dupes of, of league SPC cards you've already got. For example, the Paddleborn you guys have already seen. But you want to be trying to make it back as much as you can from the bonds packs themselves as you're selling them, including things like these player fitnesses when you come to sell them, so that when you're opening up the packs um, that you get from the league SPCs, that becomes pure profit or you're not reliant upon profit from that, which is what I don't tend to be because I tend to check the price of absolutely everything. But yeah, just something for you guys to know. No, I will see you again. Yo guys, so the question I keep getting asked is when do I stop opening bonds packs? And my mentality for that and the easy way you learn that is when you're starting to get too many dupes. Duplicates are not a good thing. So if you get a duplicate league SBC player, that's not the end of the world. You can sell them usually for a decent bit of profit. But when you're getting a lot of dupes of this sort of non, non league SBC cards, that's usually the cue to stop and basically start putting stuff into upgrading your bonds and your silvers and your golds. And you do it in one round. So go and do your bonds, silvers, and golds in one round, then start opening packs up again. It's fine. The point about this whole method is it is a grind. It's not an overnight thing, it's not a one week thing. It all depends on the luck you get with packs sometimes. But it's about grinding it out. And let's be honest, no one's going anywhere. <laughs> Boris Johnson last night announced lockdown. So um, you may as well do it. You may as well grind it. You may as well do as much as you can. What you want to do, so now I've got 1.786 uh, players in the club. I think a good 600 of those are probably going to be bonds players. Um, the really easy way to do the bonds upgrades, it's as easy as it could possibly be, is just go to the upgrades, just go to bronze, and it offers you to use squad builder. Well, that's, right, right now it's not for me, which is weird. But left trigger, just use the squad builder here. And then just go to bronze and then just do leagues that aren't league SPC. So these two are, league one isn't. And then you just press Y or I think it's triangle on, on uh, PlayStation. <clears throat> and it will build you a squad for you. And then you just look around, make sure you're not doing anything, that's, anyone that's selling for anything at the moment. This guy might be. Because he's a rare English player. 950, yeah. So you could sell him if you wanted to. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to bother now and change him around. But to make sure you're not selling anyone value, non-rares won't be any valuable, but mainly rares will be. But for him, we'll just put him in there. And you want to repeat this process with absolutely every single league SPC. Now, I'm not going to sit here and show you how me, me building every pack. But what I am going to go do now is build all the packs. And then show you how many silver packs we've got. And as I'm opening those silver packs, you guys will see anything decent we get. I'll be right back once I've built the packs. For you guys, it'll be about two seconds. For me, it'll probably be about 20 minutes. I will see you then. Yo, guys. After converting all those bonds in the club, we now have a monstrous 55 silver packs to get through. Uh, these are two-player upgrade silver cards. Essentially, I don't, um, the value here isn't really too much of a thing to me. Obviously, it'd be great to hit things like Paderborn players and, and uh, Dijon players that are expensive. But so again, it's just about stocking the club up. I'm going to be opening these up. If I get anything good from them, I'll show you guys what I got from them. 
um, as, I, as and when I do it, but seeing you guys open 55 silver packs is going to be a bit boring. But anything decent that we get from them, I will come back to you guys with and let you know where we're at with that. So I will see you as we open these packs up. I will be right back. Yo, guys, so a few packs in. We've hit this guy, this Lopez guy. Um, he is expensive, very, very expensive. He's for the combo ball. I think it's because he's higher rated. The higher rated guys tend to be a bit more expensive. But 10,000 coins is what he's currently at. I'd, it'd be interesting to see if he stays at 10,000 or if it's just a lack of supply that's keeping him up at that. But even at half of that, that's a very, very, very good pull. Um, Masunda as well, another league SPC card, but he's not overly expensive. But yeah, first good pull from the silver packs. I'll keep going and let you know if we get anything else decent. Another very nice pull here. The Stad Rene left back, Morassa, sells for 3,200 coins. Uh, I know it's quite an expensive card because I trade with him normally. So as soon as I saw him, I was quite happy with that. Um, again, really, really nice pull for him. He'll go straight into their SBC, so I can't complain with that at all. Um, I've also noticed I've been picking up a lot of sort of 1,500, 2,000 coin players. I'm only showing you guys sort of the ones above 3K, but pretty much every pack so far, we've hit someone that's worth at least sort of, like I say, 1,500 coins. Quite a few of the uh, CSL centre backs are expensive, which is very, very nice. Still waiting for that one big, big, big sort of Paderborn player, which would be very, very... And in the very next pack, we hit the big, big player, the Mallorca centre back here, currently selling for 13,000 coins. Uh, absolutely brilliant pull to hit from a pack. Very, very happy with that. That will help massively towards getting Mallorca done. Also, this full hand guy, he fluctuates massively. Sometimes he's down where he is at the moment. Other times he goes up a lot in price. But yeah, realistically, we've, we've made our coins back from our bronze packs now consistently. Uh, we've still got, I think, 40-something packs to open. But that is an absolutely brilliant hit. I'm very, very happy with that. So yeah, we'll keep moving. I'll keep letting you guys know what we get. Another absolutely brilliant hit. If I hadn't have done the SBC already, but for you guys that haven't done the Irish SBC set again this this hogan he's expensive anyway because birmingham strikers tend to be expensive but right now he's an eight thousand coin card another brilliant brilliant hit it's, it's been very good so far we've had a couple of packs or a few packs to be fair that have been just been two non-league spc silvers that's fine they'll go into the other upgrade you'll see that after this this set but it's been very very strong so far this video is obviously going to be a bit longer these these ones the, the plan is to sort of alternate like i say between the grind and the opening packs between each video so this pack, this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I want to show you guys as much of the grind as possible so you see how possible it is and how, how easy it can be as long as you're putting the work in and the, and the grind in. And it'll be worth it once we get a free mid icon. I'll probably get Bobby Moore again from it, but hey-ho, you can't win them all. Uh, but I'll be back again if we get anything decent, but just thought I'd show you this one just for, for you. Again, another good hit in terms of an Irish player. Uh, this Rafferty sells for about 4,000 coins at the moment, give or take. You're probably going to get three and a half for him, realistically. This shot is good for the... Uh, Benfica SBC, he does a job, so he'll refill up Benfica, which we've already done uh, via Liga Nos. But again, another solid, solid hit. We've got about, I think, 20 packs left to go. I think so far, I'm sort of guessing at what we made in terms of player value. We're looking at 70, maybe 80,000 coins worth of value, which is insane considering I've put about 50,000 into bronze packs. I got back a good, solid, I don't know, maybe 20, 30k from those bronze packs. So we're, we're well in profit in terms of the value of the players that we're actually getting out right now. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I'm going to continue opening them and see how we go. I know I keep coming back to you guys, but the luck at the moment is insane. It's Moyano, 10,000 coins, only one on the market. Really, really nice pull. Again, he'll, I'll probably use him in the Copper SBC. There's a reason why he's expensive. He's probably needed for, for one of the SBCs quite specifically. Uh, this guy here is another one. It's not too bad. Nothing special on him. Maybe 1,000 coins on that. But again, 11,000 coins from a two rare, sort of two silver upgrade pack is, is nuts. Um, I know I'll keep coming back to you guys. I didn't think I'd be coming back to you as much as I have done, but we've been getting very, very lucky today. Today's a good day for the... Uh, Supply to the club. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going. We've got, I think we've got like nine left maybe. So yeah, hopefully we can hit one or two more big pulls in, in that. And in the very next pack, another big daddy hit. Uh, this is one of the cheaper Dijon players. It's only about three and a half K, give or take. But it's still a very, very nice pull. I was looking for Dijon players. I've got Dijon players. So I can't complain too much. It's got one to 3,000 there. But it is a very, very nice pull. And a Gabriel Martinelli for the Arsenal SPC, which is always useful too. Few packs on the end, and another big, big daddy hit. This is Kovnaki, is another guy that if you trade with Silvers, you will know he's expensive. He's about a 6k striker for Dusseldorf, which is very, very nice. Again, very, very happy with that. Um, I've already done Dusseldorf, but he's perfect, because when I come round to do Dusseldorf again, once the Bundesliga is done, he's already there for Dusseldorf, which takes a huge chunk of the coins out. And this guy's relatively expensive, sort of 1,000 coins on him as well. So again, another sort of 7,000 coin pack there, which is very, very nice. Yo guys, so that's those packs opened up. We absolutely crushed it. We got very, very lucky with a lot of those great, great pulls. I think a total value of silvers that are usable is at least 100k, possibly more. Got a lot of the Copa Libertadores cards as well, which is very, very nice. A lot of those hold value. The higher rated ones, for some reason, hold more value. There seems to be an issue, apparently, where the higher rated uh, Libertadores players, the sort of 70 pluses, aren't really popping, which I didn't see any of mine. 
but the lower end ones, sort of 67, 68 ratings are all going for like 10k, which is brilliant. Uh, but now we have a choice to make, and this is something you guys need to understand and, and know about. Right now, you have a choice in terms of how you convert them. So I'm going to be doing the silvers that aren't usable now into golds. I'm not going to bother showing you the non-rare gold packs, it's pointless. But, right now we have the 82 to 88. Now, if you are aiming for the icon pack, which is technically what I am aiming for, but I'm going to rely upon League SPC players to get the League SPC, um, League, League SPC cards to get the League SPC players even. This 82 to 88 is the exact same requirements as the um, two rare gold upgrade. And so the chances are, you're likely probably to hit a higher rated card from this than you are from the two rare upgrade. But because I'm stocking a club up, I'm still going to be doing the two rare upgrades. But I might do a mixture of these and the two rares once I'm done. I don't know how many packs we we'll realistically have to open at the end of the video of these ones. Uh, maybe only be four or five, depending on how many non-league SPC hits. I'd rather it be four or five, to be fair, than tw 20 or 30, because that means I've not got enough league SPC cards from these. But so what I'm going to go and do now is we're going to go and convert the silvers into non-rare golds, and then the non-rare golds into these packs. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you non-rare golds, like I say, because... It ain't that exciting, let's be honest. 75 rated players in the Premier League isn't exactly going to get anyone's juices flowing. Um, but yeah, once we come back to you guys, I'll have these packs built and then we'll know from there what we're going to pick up and what we're going to get. So I'll be right back. I will see you shortly. Yo, guys, using some of those, I just want to show you that we got 12 of the three common upgrade packs. I'm going to open them up now uh, using some of the guys that we got from the silvers that weren't uh, tradable, basically. But 12 packs, very, very solid. Can't argue with that at all. That, again, fill up more teams as part of the League SPC. Once I've done this, I'll then convert those into the rare gold packs, um, the rare two pair, rare, rare pair packs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'll be right back. Once... Yo, guys, so I went and built a bunch of four of the two rare gold upgrade packs. I decided to go for those just because I'm willing to completely keep, continue to stock the club at the moment. Again, anything that's a border walkout is a, is a bonus, but really it's just about stocking a club up. If we do get something, we have got a border walkout in the first pack, which is quite nice. Got a board. Any 85 would be superb here, it would be very, very nice. Who is that? Pepe from Arsenal. It's got value, but it's an 83 rated, it's just a bit like a um, meh card, if that makes sense. There's nothing special about him, but I'll take a board from these packs all day long. Hopefully, this shown it is tradable. He's not, unfortunately, which is a bit of a jar. But Pepe for an 83 is solid enough. Again, he can be using an SBC. It, probably even the icon one, to be fair, because you can stick him in the 85 rated squad if you've got a player that's maybe a little bit higher than that. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is how the grind works, basically. Getting less rare gold player packs at the end isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing. Um, what that allows you to do, basically, that means that most of the cards you've got from the three rare, that three non-rare gold upgrades, sorry, are going to be League SPC cards, which is very, very nice. Uh, you can't be too disappointed with that. This one is not a board either, so we'll skip it. Pedro and Dennis. Pedro's very nice, actually, because I'm not far from competing Chelsea. And two rare gold player pack. Final one out of the four that we got at the end of this episode. It's another board. Nice. Can't argue with that at all. It's going to be an informer as well, which is quite useful to have. And Trubix at Abubakar. 82 rated. Again, he could probably go into the Icon SPC. The 85s require Icons. So that's an easy grind there. That's 10,000 coins made straight away from him. We now don't need to buy him, which is very, very nice. And Matthew there as well. So, at the end of this episode, I want to show you State of Play. Next episode, we'll be opening up the packs. We've got a lot of teams now that I think are nearly, are near, pretty much nearly done. Um, in terms of the League CSL, we have half of them done. The Bundesliga, over half now. League, we've only got two done, but I know there are teams to do. Major League Soccer, I haven't even looked at yet. I need to look at Major League Soccer. Uh, League of Nos, we've got nearly a quarter done of those. Serie A, nearly half done again. I think I've got two or three more teams that can be done on that. Stade League, I think I've got two or three more teams. We should be a quarter of the way through. Super League, exactly the same. We've got one of those done so far. Quarter of the Premier League done, although again, I think Burnley... If I haven't done Chelsea yet, let's have a look actually. I haven't done Chelsea yet. I think they're good to go. I think Burnley are good to go. I think Brighton were good to go, but we've done those. We've got a lot of teams that I think... I think United might be good to go as well. Uh, Southampton are definitely good to go. So we've got quite a few for next um, time round. Haven't looked at the Championship yet, but I know three or four of them are ready to go. Area Divisi I haven't looked at yet either, but we'll get those for the next episode. La Liga Santander, I think I've got two more teams I can do on that. So we are slowly but surely stocking it up. These guys here, I need to look at and get those done for next episode. I'm pretty sure I can do most of those already. I've got a lot of those cards. But that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully it really gave you an insight into how I'm grinding League SPCs. Next episode, like I say, we'll be opening up the packs and basically seeing where the club's at in terms of the ones we've got done. Um, but if you are new around here, subscribe down below, click the like button, all that good stuff. Make sure you come over to Twitch if you want to watch me do this stuff live. A lot of trading stuff that I do is live, so make sure you do it. And check out fittrading.co.uk, best place to learn how to trade. If you want to subscribe over there, £10 a month, I guarantee you, it'll make you a lot of coins on FIFA. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I will speak.